Alright people, welcome. I'm gonna do a tutorial specifically for PS4 players. Uh, a lot of tutorials out there do a uh, controller keyboard setup, well a keyboard setup, excuse me, mouse and keyboard. And I couldn't find one for PS4 players, so decided to make one. This is for housing. Say hi to Mr. Floating Sabotender here. It's mainly to show how to float objects or how to clip them onto other objects that you normally cannot uh, select. So, one of the things you'll need is a full wall partition here. It can be any color as long as it's full, and a shelf. So, I have the Rivera shelf in this case. What I want to do is for the purpose of this tutorial is to take Mr. Happy New Year Chocobo here, Happy New Chocobo, and put him on the top of that staircase uh, pedestal. So in the housing menu, you'll see like I'm going to try to put him on there and you'll see that it's purple and obviously can't be done and I'm sure it was a disappointment for many people that were trying to do this because that was the first thing I did when I got this house and was crying my eyes out because I couldn't put it on top of the pedestal. So with my friend Sig, he helped me out and taught me how to do this. So you're going to take this, pedest uh, this uh, wall partition here and you're going to line it up so that it will uh, clip over the the shelf will clip over the uh, the top of that end case. So I moved it up a little bit to see if I was off, and I felt that it was a little too high. So now I'm going to adjust it to make sure it's the correct size or correct placement. gets a little bit tricky because sometimes the game can be a little fussy. So you can see me just trying to tinker with it here. Alright, that seems to be good enough. So the next thing we're going to do is place the chocobo on top of here. And now we're going to move the, sh the wall partition. And it takes a little bit of uh, camera angles because anybody who's played this game will know like when you're doing housing, the camera angles can be quite awful. So right now I'm adjusting. Fidgeting a little bit, but you know, I have to back out and in just to see how I can line this up as best as possible. In this case, I'm using the trackpad and, you know, just sliding it, using slight movements for the touchpad for PS4. And in this part, I didn't like the direction, so what I'm going to do is I canceled out. You can see already, like, he kind of glitched out, which is what you want to do, but I, since I didn't like the position, I'm going to grab him again. Move him back on the counter. Or shelf. Back to 
moving them over. This particular thing I noticed, I didn't like the direction he was turned, so I'm going to turn him again. Maybe try to select the choke bow. As you can see, anything that you select is highlighted in yellow. And once again, start moving them slowly. So this is where it starts. Now, for this one, you need to go into the indoor furnishings menu. And you want to select the white partition once once he's in place. It seems to be still fussing a little bit. Okay. So you can see I'm scrolling through the indoor interior furnishings and I'm selecting a white partition. Once it's purple, you then want to use your L1 plus triangle, as you can see on the subcommands up on the top of your uh, screen, and disable counter placement. So L1 and triangle. Once that's done, you're going to go over to your interior furnishings again, then the menu. Do not uh, try like using your mouse pad for this. You want to scroll over using the L1 and R1 buttons and find the object that you need. And I have like multiple ones so I have to kind of like hit the X button to check which one it is. And once you find it, it turns purple. Hit X and then hit circle to cancel out. So you want to hit it X so that it's highlighted, double highlighted and then cancel out. Go right back to your uh, furnishings again and I will find the white partition. I believe it's the last one. You can see me just scrolling through and checking. I find it and now I'm gonna move it away. Place it down and that's it. I have Mr. Chocobo on here. Now he's not perfect. He's still a little off to the side, but but the this gives you an idea of how the process is. And you can see me interacting with him, working just like he normally would. Lovely little fat guy. And uh, that's basically it for how to use a shelf and a wall to furniture and uh, just wanted to show you too how I was doing this over here like for example I wanted to make wall planks and to do that you take the Aorzean map and to show you that this is the Aorzean map I'm going to go into housing menu so I can clip through because sometimes it won't let me run through yes I have a lot of stuff in my uh inventory. But you can see the Aorzean map here as I clipped it through. Uh, have it floating. And I uh, have like cupboards on the this little area here. And I'm still working on the house. But thank you guys for watching. And bye bye.